Well, usually, uh, it's very, um, it's a must uh, for us to uh, get the rapport, uh, the confidence, the trust of uh, these uh, victims of human rights violations because uh, usually, especially if they receive too much uh, brutalities or uh, sufferings, usually uh, the trust to people um, uh, stand out. So, uh, foremost, if you want to uh, uh, have these people talk freely, you have to first first to uh, get uh, their trust. So, how to get your, their trust? Well, you should be, uh, make them feel that uh, you're not different from them, that you are with them, that um, you are not like uh, those people who are um, doing harm for them, but uh, you, you understand what happened and uh, you share uh, their uh, pains and others so that uh, they, can, they can feel that uh, you are on their side because uh, if you make them these people smile laugh while before the before the, the interview then you can make them uh, that they are, they are at, at ease so once they, you, you, you you evade from them you make them smile then that's a sign that they are ready uh, to open up and, and they, are, they are ready to speak up so that's the usual thing that I do uh, uh, for these uh, victims of human rights violations. Usually, uh, I'll, I will just tell them that, uh, you know, um, we would, I just would like to know what happened to you. Um, you can start when you're ready, and, uh, but if you're not, then we can wait. And uh, if you feel uh, at the time of interview that you want to stop, you want to, you know, whatever you need, then we will give it to you. Uh, we will uh, interview you uh, depending on um, your uh, preparedness and uh, uh, your condition. You, you have to be observable in their body language. So if you think that they're feeling tired, then you can offer them to rest or, or whatever. And usually you have uh, to, to you have to you, have, you should have to water the tissue around because you know you, you can never tell when these people will uh, break down and, and, and cry. <coughs> so you always have to be ready. So once uh, they started uh, uh, opening up, just let them talk, tell the story. Um, and uh, then uh, if there are times that uh, you need to clarify, then just ask clarific clarificatory uh, questions. But uh, never interfere or never uh, ask an, uh, yes or no questions. It's really usually an open-ended uh, uh, questions.